an electro. And then um, I'm gonna go down and see what's going on. So my plan is to basically drive up to Pusta, drop the car off, head in on foot, um, overlooking the electro, and uh, hopefully get a glimpse of uh, the fighting down there. So this is Pusta. And I'm not too worried about detection. I think everybody's busy fighting down in Electro, so I'm gonna find a place to uh, drop off the car here and uh, proceed on foot. There's uh, quite a few people dying uh, in the past five minutes, so I don't know if I'm too late for the fun. Around this place is where people down at the Sniper Hill can hear vehicles, so I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to quickly set a bookmark here um, for the Sniper Hill, just uh, so I know where I am in relation to it, and then I'm going to Well, that was close. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Holy crap. Where did that guy come from? The guy I'd just killed belonged to a notorious group of bandits who had been haunting the area for weeks. I'd had a few encounters with them before, and I'd seen them gun down scores of people in cold blood, so I generally made it a habit to stay out of their way, which wasn't too hard. Their method of operation was pretty simple. Using a helicopter to spot victims from a safe altitude, they'd hang around the trading outposts and guide vehicles on the ground, like SUVs or armored Humvees, in to surround the victim and get the kill. So staying off the roads became key to my survival. These bandits were nothing like any I'd seen before though. Highly mobile, versatile, and obviously good at communicating. I knew that in order to survive an encounter with them, I'd have to use those strengths to my advantage. And with these guys killing and ambushing indiscriminately, I knew full well that sooner or later our paths would cross and I'd have to get involved. You know the Y section down there where the road goes to the... Where there's... where you... where you turn up north towards the airfield, yeah? Between uh, Cabanino and Bible. Uh, yeah? Yeah, that intersection, if you go up that intersection about a hundred meters towards the airfield, then I'm on the left, there's a lone tree there. I'm hiding behind that tree right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm in 051068. That's where I am. Uh, 
There is most definitely someone up there. I can't see the cars though. Oh shit, dude, hold on. I've got aggro, and I don't have anything to kill it with. Oh shit. I'm gonna need the, to take the axe out. Oh, this is not good. Crisis averted for now. I'll probably be ha having zombies walking up How to me. How did that zombie course. fucking see me though? Well, they're circling in on people that doesn't move. Why are they not circling in on them? those motherfuckers? Oh, well, okay, they they move towards people laying close. I was lying still, dude. I wasn't so doing this anything. This zombie is hopefully walking towards someone lying close. But these issues, do you really think they're spawns? No. How many are there? Is it two blacks? One might be charcoal. The other one is black. Yeah, one black and one charcoal. That's I think it's theirs. <sighs> and you have clear visibility on them. Uh, oh, I see someone running near the black SUV. Okay. That's oh, he's behind trees now. Oh, he's about to get in the vehicle. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to move. The bandits were ready to strike again, but in order to maintain the upper hand, we needed someone to spring the trap. Fortunately, Cool Breeze had a few of his guys at the trading outpost in Starry selling off loot, and I had a brooding suspicion that someone else at that outpost was relaying intel to the bandits. A quick checkup on the local community TeamSpeak server confirmed my suspicions, so we decided to play their game and give them exactly what they wanted. The plan was to make sure that the locals see our guys leave Starry towards us in the hopes that they'd relay that information to the bandits. Our guys would then pretend to be refueling at a barn house in Cabanino, and hopefully we'd get a shot at flanking the bandits while their eyes were on their prey. SUV, SUV. Where? I only hear it. It's heading into Cabanino. Charcoal, charcoal SUV. Heading into Cabanino. I think he's coming. One. He's coming straight at you. Ah, oh, they're gone. There's another one. There's the black one. They might have saw something. Yeah, they're they're going towards um, Viborg way. Oh no no, they're coming back. They're coming back. Yeah, they saw the Humvee. Ah, I got him. They're coming. We Shooting. Do you see them? Yeah. Let's get out. Let's get out and help them. Kill them. There's no one driving it anymore. Puff goes dead. Boom. Uh. Zombie fucking broke my leg. Need help? No, I'm good. There's a grey SUV. Grey SUV is escaping to Vibor. Should we go after him if he's against UV? No, no. No. He's gonna come. Yeah, that's me trying to fend off the seas. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Okay, I'm, I'm at Puffle's body. I'm at the body of Puffle. I'm going towards where that car is. I'm at the Humvee. Down. I'm at the Humvee. Oh, I see it. I see it. Do you He's not moving away. He's not moving away. He's just no. south of uh, Cabanino now. Yeah. South Cabanino? In the double That's... road going south.
shit, he drove. He drove down. He might have saw me. What did he have in his body? Listen, I'll now say that later. you guys go back to the safe zone right now. Um, listen, cool. We'll take out those positions exactly like, the, you know, those positions that we had, uh, that they had before with us. Yeah, so we're going back to the location we were at. No, the location they were at. The okay. ambush. You know where we first where I first saw the zombies? Yeah? Yeah. That's it. He's probably gonna go down and pick that dude up first. Our gamble had worked, but one of the bandits managed to slip out, and with him probably headed south to pick up his fallen comrade by the coast. We bought ourselves a little time to predict their next move and get ready. Alan and his boys retreated to the safety of the trading outpost with the loot and the captured SUV, once again acting as bait, while Cool Breeze and I headed south on foot to prepare for the bandit's return. See, the thing is, I think they have 42 on their comms. And yeah, because he's, he's literally just sitting and watching. Yeah, 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 time. exactly. And he's keeping an eye on you guys now while he's picking up that guy and getting him some guns and shit. So my guess is they're going to be looking at Starry from the south, hoping to snipe you or get in position, you know. So if we can make it to those those trees in the south before they can, then uh, it's looking a lot better. Do you have a silenced weapon? Yeah. You need to dispatch those seas. I'll keep them busy. I'll go. Okay. Oh, I got knocked out. Tyson knocked out, dude. I'm up. Was it zombie or did you get shot? Oh, uh, zombie. Yeah. This is. I, do you have a spare bandage? Uh, yeah. Because I'm out. And my last morphine, too. Um. I can't get into your back. Okay. Stand still, it's stand it's still. okay. Wait, wait, wait with that. Just focus on the seas. The seas are done. Let's back up. Okay, I'll need some blood. Oh, wait. I think there's another one coming. Yeah. There he is. Okay, Where he needs it? to die. He needs to fucking die. He's pounding me, dude. I'm very, very low. You need to blood me right now. I can't. I'm getting that bug where I can't lie still, you know. Yeah, double tap in the move direction you're moving. There we go. Okay, I'm good. Okay, let's go. Rebel stop. Rebel stop. Get out of there, Rebel. Nobody leaves that safe zone. No, I mean, he's taunting him. Stop it, Rebel. Don't you say anything about us knowing that they are on comms together. That's the best weapon we have right now. No. Yeah. Listen, this is a road I think they're gonna come up. Chia. Uh, sorry, uh, cool. Okay. No, nah, he so went back to stay <clears throat> What What weapon do you have? Cool. DMR. Okay. Yeah, they're coming up this way. They're coming this way, dude. There's a black SUV then. And he's driving off road. Where is he? He's coming up this way. He's coming up the dirt road. Get ready. Oh, they went that way. Yeah. 
unlock. There's a dead zombie here, dude. Dead zombie in front of us. I see the SUV. Where is it? It's dead ahead. It's you can't see it behind the trees. What distance? It's just there. Oh, it's close. Fifty meters. They must have gone up on that hill that we came from. Yeah. Should we take off the uh, take off a wheel so they can't escape quickly? No, they'll hear it, or we'll get aggro. We'll wait until they come back to their SUV. Oh, I see a black SUV also. Okay. Uh, see if you can get a solution on that SUV. Cover is very scarce to get a solution. I know. But he's gonna come back here. You can be damn certain. All down towards the uh, westish, and see if I can get a solution from the pine trees, which will give me some visual cover. Yeah. The northwest, I see zombies on the other side of the road. Okay. And I couldn't have spawned those. So he's probably up in those trees, and they are they on? Need to get him back to this SUV. Alan, are you there? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what? What's the status in the safe zone right now? Uh, yeah. What? It's us three. Okay. Then maybe get in the Humvee and then go out and uh, head out uh, the opposite way of Viper because that will force Roman back to his car. Yeah. Like Novi? Yeah. No, but I, stop, stop, stop. I have a feeling 42 is an ambush in Novi, and they've an ambush in Camino. Yeah, we'll deal with him and his guys when we're done with Roman and Fo. One died. Yeah, no one said a thing about getting Quiet. down. Are you about the SUV? Pogo is down. Fod Nick is right behind us. Yeah. Roman is nice. down. Goodbye, Roman. Goodbye. I'm taking his Lapua. We need to get out of here. Quick, get his shit. Mission accomplished. The prospect of having their prey slip between their fingers forced the bandits back to their cars and into our little ambush. But now we faced another problem. Our guys in the Humvee, who'd left Starry earlier to act as bait, were now being chased by a heavily armored Vodnik belonging to the guys who'd been spying on us earlier. So we needed to quickly move into position and improvise yet another little ambush that would force the hostiles to break pursuit and let our guys slip away before their friends made it back to the area. You are moving up the road? It's not following us. Yeah, they stopped. Okay. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, they're coming. Oh, shit. Okay. Bait it, bait it, bait it. Get bait ready. It. Make sure it keeps visual on us. Driver is on the left in the Vodnik, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How many Watch in the Vodnik? Drive. Probably like four. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Like the, all the SUS people plus Luke. Ooh, probably south and 42 well. Luke 42 uh, yeah, when you not come Spitfire, over the hill you not okay here they come here they come here they come here they come See the Humvee. Bonnet okay stop the guys stop guys stop 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 get out in cover and shoot them I'm gonna wait till they hit us first Get in. Okay, move up, move up, move, move up into the woods, dude. We'd managed to foil the initial ambush, take out the bandits, and shake off the posse that was tailing our bait car, and so we scattered into the woods and went our separate ways. I headed back to base to store away my prize, the high calibered Lapua sniper rifle once belonging to the bandit leader, but I knew they'd come to find me soon. 
and like the bandit said while I was still crouched over his dying body, there would be a nasty vengeance coming my way.